Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody emailed me and asked how you would simulate what the project would look like after you used a different species of wood. And this particular person is a scroll solder. And all I did is I went to the internet and I typed in oak wood. I picked out a picture. I right clicked on the picture and I pressed copy. I went back to Corel. I right clicked and I pressed paste and it brought this piece of oak wood into the into the corral. Then you would just put in your graphic or whatever you're going to scroll saw and this is a little bit of the trick part. I'm going to left click, right click and now I'm going to color fill this void and I'm going to nudge it out of the way exactly 12 inches. Then I'm going to take the inner circles of the letters and I'm going to nudge them over. Now I'm going to left click, right click, and I'm going to show you what the difference is because I've made a well and now I'm going to combine that. So we can get rid of this. Let's take this new object and click on your wood and just make sure it's big enough to fit a little bit bigger, go up to a range, power clip, and place inside frame, and it made the wood in all the parts, and then you could always select it all and left click, no outline. So that's what it would look like uh, if you scroll saw that wood out. And let me, not 100% sure this will work, but let's try this and let's make that black. Let's take our new object and move it on top. What we can do is take our black and put it to the back of the page. I just have a hotkey, but you can go to range, order, put to back of page, and then let's put our scroll saw on top. And that kind of, kind of gives you an idea what it would look like if you're going to back that scroll saw up with a different color. I'm not, I am a scroll sawler, but I don't do that much work. And, you know, if you put a back plate and had a different species of wood or whatever. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.